Hello Cloud Gurus, I'm Nigel Poulton, the author of the Kubernetes book and the KCNA book, all about how to smash that KCNA exam. Anyway, this is Kubernetes This Month, the show that brings you all the top news and happenings in the world of Kubernetes. In this episode, we'll look at Istio making waves by joining the CNCF. We'll look at updates to the Kubevert project, things that are going on with Docker, who's getting funding, and what's going down in the conferences space. Now, while you're here, be sure to subscribe so you always know what's going on in the world of Kubernetes and Cloud Native. Okay, so five years after launching as a project, Istio is finally joining the CNCF, or actually, they've applied to join, but it'll be a formality, they are definitely getting in. I mean, it's the biggest and most widely used service mesh, and not being part of the CNCF has been a real pain for some people. In fact, there've been some well-documented cases over the years of large users having to choose alternatives purely down to the lack of an open governance system. Well, assuming it all goes ahead and Istio is welcomed into the CNCF, all of those governance and project ownership concerns, honestly, it'll be like they never existed and they'll have greased the path to more adoption, which is a good thing for the project, obviously, and it is for most of the community, but it mightn't be the best thing for some of the other service meshes. I mean, some of the others have made a big deal over the previous stance where Google wanted to keep control. But if that's not gonna be the case anymore, where does it leave the competition? I mean, the others are great, and don't get me wrong, there's space for more than just Istio. I just do wonder if some of the others might take a bit of a hit on adoption and maybe contributors. Anyway, as good as all this is, the question is why and why now? Well, there'll be a ton of reasons. I mean, there's always been pressure. Like for the longest time, it was the only major Kubernetes or cloud native technology not to be part of the CNCF. As well though, the vast majority of commits and support have been coming from Google. So opening things wider and getting in with the CNCF community might just open the doors a little bit wider for more community support and more contributors. Plus, any ecosystems growing up around Istio, they'll see a boost. So I think like most of us have thought since forever, opening wider and joining the CNCF is a whole boatload of just goodness. So let's see how things go. Hot on the heels of Knative about a month ago, the Qvert project marches into the incubating stage of the CNCF. So I've talked about it a lot, but Qvert is VM workloads on Kubernetes. But it's not just about migrating legacy verts, because believe it or not, people are still deploying new apps to virtual machines in 2022. So they are still relevant. Anyway, look, as a project, it was accepted as a sandbox project in 2019, and not even three years later, it's a flourishing project and moving on into the incubating phase. Now, on the numbers front, it's had over 30 releases with over 300 contributors from over 130 companies since it went sandbox. It's also got a ton of real-world production implementations, including notable ones at places like Arm and Sivo. It's been full steam ahead on the technology front as well. Things like live migrations, online snaps, SRIOV, and even GPUs are supported. And there's non-disruptive upgrades of the control plane. So it's rocking and rolling on the features front as well. So if you've got apps that are a combo of VMs and containers, magic. Kubert on Kubernetes gives you an epic platform. And you know what? If you've got some event-driven serverless stuff as well, sweet mix in a bit of Knative, all just proving that Kubernetes is the platform of choice for modern workloads. Keen to start your cloud journey? We've just launched a limited time offer on all our personal annual plans, saving you 40%. The plans give you access to great course features like hands-on labs and practice exams, making it easier to kickstart your cloud career. If you're interested, scan the QR code on the screen or click the link in the description. But do be quick, this one won't last long. Okay, so time for my other top picks from last month. Docker just released a new experimental command, Docker SBOM or Docker SBOM. 
It's obviously an acronym for Software Bill of Materials, and if you run it against an image, you get a full list of everything that's in it, which in today's security conscious world is a big deal. So a major boost for increasing trust in the software supply chain. Now, sticking with Docker, but switching to funding, Docker Inc. announced a Series C round of 105 million. Garden.io, they also closed a Series A round of 16 million. Now, Garden are all about zero waste in the cloud, basically making sure that developers are working on features and problems, not pipeline stuff that can be automated. But look, congratulations to both Docker and Garden.io. Well, last but not least for this month, conferences. Some of the sessions from IstioCon are already up and available to watch. So if you missed IstioCon a couple of weeks ago, go check out the sessions you can stream. A brand new event called PlatformCon is scheduled for the back end of June. It's 100% virtual, it's free, and some of the sessions look really cool. Like I've already bookmarked why it's different this time, Kubernetes as the cloud operating system for the next 50 years by Nathan Yellen, and also I've bookmarked virtual clusters for Kubernetes use cases by Rich Burrows. But honestly, there'll be a ton of others that you like. Well, last but not least on the topic of conferences, it's almost KubeCon in Valencia. And if you're going and you're watching this before the event, be sure to come and say hi, because I'll be there in person. And that's it for this month. If you like this episode, you can check out more of our original series with an ACG free plan. You'll also get access to our learning paths and our new courses every month. And the best thing is, you don't even need a credit card to sign up. Check out the links below. And on that note, stay safe, and I'll see you again next month. Same cube time, same cube place.